Okay, 10.2b. So we're adding on two more volume formulas here. Um, this will be volumes of pyramids and cones. So again, on your formula sheet, um, we've already talked about cylinder and prisms. Um, on your formula sheet, you should see now as well volume of a cone. This is what is on your formula sheet here. Um, a rectangular pyramid and a triangular pyramid. Take two. Got this. Okay, so on your formula sheet, you should see these three formulas. Again, we just talked about um, prisms and cylinders uh, yesterday. Um, now we're going to be talking about um, these three a cone, a pyramid, a rectangular pyramid, <laughs> and a triangular pyramid. Uh, those three are right there on the bottom of your formula sheet. Um, and again, they're based off of actually uh, the prism formulas. A pyramid is actually just like a little bit less than a prism. It kind of like shoops, cuts a little bit of the volume out. So as always, guys, all you have to do is actively identify the shape, choose the formula, and go from there. If you are unable to identify the shape, there is nothing you can do. So that is your first step. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at example one. It says, find the volume of the square pyramid. Now, this happens occasionally. I'm pretty sure on Canvas, they don't always give you the name of the shape. But because it is a square pyramid, I know that is going to be the rectangular pyramid formula. Yeah. Rectangles and squares have the exact same area, have the exact same um, volume involved. It's just that if it's a square pyramid, that means this base is a square. So if they give you 10 feet here, what does that mean this dimension is going backwards? Also 10. So you have to be aware, if it is a square, um, sometimes they will only give you one side length, but we need to know both because, go ahead and take a second, copy the formula for a rectangular pyramid. We got volume equals one-third um, length times the width times the height. So we need to have three numbers, right? We need the length, the width, and the height. So the length and the width, this always referred to, just switching colors here, length and width is the area of the base, right? Length times width is the formula for area of a square. And so that's going to be my length is 10. My width is also 10. So I have 10 times 10. And then what's our height of this pyramid? How tall does it stand? 12. So there's my three numbers. I literally just plug this all in and hey, I've got my answer. Take a second to do so. Okay, you should get 400. Now again, we're talking about volume. We're talking about filling a shape. And this is feet cubed to the third. Okay, again, all you gotta do is identify the picture. We're gonna try just one more because we're just gonna try one more formula. There we go. Um, so this one says on number four, so take a second again, skip to number four. Um, it just says find the volume. You have to be able to look at that shape and know what the name of it is to pick the formula. So what is the name of this shape? This is a cone, like an ice cream cone. And so we're looking at our formula sheet for volume of a cone. So take a second, look at your formula sheet, copy it down. Volume of a cone, we've got V equals... One third, hey, there's that fraction of a cylinder, pi r squared times h. Again, this is the volume of a cylinder here, pi r squared h. A cone is a third of a cylinder. Okay, so take a second. You should know what your variables are. You got 17.7, 12.4. You cannot mix these up. One is the radius of the circle. One is the height. What are they? Go ahead and plug it in. Well, I got one third times 3.14 times my r is 12.4. Again, if you do not use the right radius here, you will get the wrong answer. And then I've got 17.7. Okay, so definitely need to calculate for this. Let's take a second here. 3.14 squared times 17.7 squared. Okay. 
Okay, you should get a volume of 2,848.55, um, so we'll round that to 60. And again, we're talking volume here, so this is millimeters cubed. Okay, so it's just those two new, uh, two new formulas, really, for the most part, of what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to check one thing while I'm here. Of course. Eh, it should be fine. Feels good. Okay, so just to intro the formulas, that's all I wanted to do. We'll come back on Monday and we'll do the rest of this.